Oh, here it comes. Here it comes, the old kick, 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 kick. <gasps> Blue, make sure you like and subscribe and go follow my Patreon. It's only five dollars a month, and you get an extra video every week. Jesus, I mean, what happened to you people, huh? Whoa, 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 you people? <laughs> With all due respect, Don Paul, what do you mean by you people? No, I didn't mean it like that. Today, I'm going to be reacting to an F and F is for family compilation. I've been carrying you for three months. I just saved the airline, saved your goddamn job, which appears to be nothing more than eating, and you stood by while I got fired? Well, f you, f on Barton, and f you, you miserable tub of living sh You think you can put on a pair of slacks and talk to a grown man like that? Well, do you? This is not how business is done. I am a customer of this store of long standing. I bought a radio back here when oh, there no. was no TV, and you, sir, were still in your dad's balls. Hey, I got an idea. If you don't like this, go to your room and watch whatever you want on your TV. Oh, that's right, you don't have one, because it's my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> Such like a father thing to say. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. American cars. Oh, okay. Hey, here okay. you go. Happy Halloween from the Muffin Ladies. Is that You're melting my candy? You suck! Yeah, yeah, Reba Dirty. All I'm saying is you don't get to make big financial decisions like this by yourself. Then agree with me. That way we both decided together. Oh my what the fuck? What are we supposed to watch now? Watch each other! Such a dick! I got a mortgage, I got dependents, and I gotta go downtown every damn day to run that airport. Please, you're just a baggage handler. What the f did you just call me? Ah, oh, there you go! Perfect! Let's just bring all the bad news at once. Woo! Come on, Santa! My mouth's wide open! Fly up on the roof and sh down my neck! I said play the party! I'm okay with it! Oh I'm being the cool dad now! It's all groovy! Hey, hey, we're the monkeys! Dodge the drafts! Christ, we're what? looking at a strike here. That goddamn Pogo will want me to calm down the union guys while he shoves another fruit pie down his ankle. Meanwhile, my wife is traipsing around my town selling that plastic sh** to pill-popping housewives, and I don't get supper till... Hey. Oh, there you are. You recognize that handwriting? That's <laughs> me. I made out that schedule. Without that schedule, the bags don't get off the planes and the whole airport grinds to a halt. That leads to a domino effect. Every airport closes, then anarchy sets in, food lines grow. Dad, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah? Talk to me when we're eating the dog for supper. Yeah, I'm gonna be oh, Mr. Coconut. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are I just love Bilber so much. I feel like I love anything that he does. So I find him extremely funny. And even as an animated character, I think that his voice still carries because his voice is like his entire personality. I mean, really, just I feel like I'm. it's him. So it's even more funny because I do know Bill Burr's jokes at this point, and a lot of them are in reference to like how crazy his father was. It's a very interesting level to see it as an animated cartoon. Also, um, it feels like that, I don't know what else to describe it as, uh, like a blue collar, typical, maybe American family. It has that vibe because his father, you know, he seems like a really hardworking man. All jokes aside, it's still kind of a joke. He's like miserable or always angry, but he's gonna provide for his family and he comes home every day and he goes to work every day. So I really like that vibe. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, is it Modern Family? It's not Modern Family, it's, um, Married with children, yeah. Um, I, it took me a second because I don't actually watch that show either. But it's like that angry dad character who's hardworking but like just hates everything. He's always miserable. And that's where most of his jokes kind of stem from because he's like always angry. Um, but this one's really funny too because he like curses a lot and um, just freaks out and he's like that angry dad. I'm gonna be Mr. Coconut. No, you are not. Mm -hmm. Mr. Coconut, Coconut is a mister. If he's a mister, why does he have milk inside? Ah, uh, that's man milk. Supper time. What are we, we are having? More free food. What are you bitching about? With your constant f***ing... Oh, here it comes. Here comes the old... I don't need... I don't need... You ass... Are you fighting again? No. no. Mommy and me are just having a little talk. Are you still taking me to computer club today? Yes, don't worry. See, everything's fine, princess. Now just go downstairs, watch your cartoons, and mind your own damn business. Oh, Christ, so what does a priest know about marriage? He's married to God. 
God's invisible, and he's happy as long as you show up once a week to eat his son. Guys, I'm trying to sleep. Then close your eyes and shut the f*** up. Hey, so how many kids okay. do we have? Back in the old days, the good Lord had the decency to take one or two out with polio or get mauled by a bear. Something to help out. Jeez. 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 Oh, look at that. Fat Albert. I'm not wearing a costume. Well, then you don't get any f candy. Oh, Christ. Oh. Keeps turning this up to 64. That's cold. Quit your bitching, Kevin. Kids in Africa would kill to see their breath. I hate you! I wish I was never born! Ah, we finally agree on something! What the hell are you doing here? Oh. What are you doing here? It's my f house. I don't care. I hate school. Well, I hate my life, but I keep on doing it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Colt Luger is a man. You are a girl. Take that off. A girl. What? Where did you hear that? Oh, right. Hey, when your mother comes home, don't tell her I use that word. What if she never comes home? Die, you little <gasps> sucker! Oh, let me tell you something, you goddamn does. son of a bitch. I don't need a goddamn engraved family Bible. You see? You see? What I say every goddamn time? I am eating dinner with my family, young man. I don't need a $25 Bible to teach me about God. I almost bled out in Korea, all right? I have met God. Fuck it off, Bill. She started it. Well, I... St okay, so two things I want to point out. I feel like there's so many layers to how you could depict this and take it apart um, on a psychological level. I wonder if this is actually therapeutic for Bill Burr because I think that he had a lot of differences with his father and isn't it kind of ironic that he's making a comedy playing as his father? Like not only probably wrote it and obviously is coming out with a lot of the content, but he himself is voice acting for him. So it's like he's stepping into how his father must have saw things and how he had to deal with life. So it is very interesting that the show doesn't even seem completely self-centered around Bill. It's almost like a, mm, this, is probably, this is probably how my father felt too. So I find that very interesting. Also, another thing that I find very interesting like a psychological standpoint is I know Bill Burr has mentioned he's, like he's joked about it, but it's probably, you know, kind of real for him about how his daughter views him like he yells and sometimes he's really worried that she's going to look at him a certain way and think that he's crazy and he's trying not to be that person and he's made a reference about how he doesn't want to like you know completely be like his father so i think that the show is actually a very real point of view of how he is interacting with his daughter which would be bill burr's sister um because like he speaks a lot more gentle to her than his sons obviously because i think even more so back in the day, fathers probably treated their daughters a lot more delicate and maybe even a little sexist, not in a bad way, just him telling his daughter, hey, that's a that's a, that's a a man or that's a boy, you can't go as that as a costume. Just very clear cut like thing. Um, and he treats her like a little angel, but at the same time, he is still yelling in front of her, he still cusses, like he has this point of view and like tells her to mind her business and closes the door on her. So he is more gentle, but at the same time, She's probably seeing how he acts. And I think that Bill Burr slightly has the same fear about like his kid and like, oh, I wonder if she's gonna like think of me as like that person. Fuck it off, Bill. She started it. Well, I started you and I can end you. Be nice to your sister. Someday you'll be sleeping on her couch after your first divorce. Can Billy come out and play? Get the f out of here! I'm sorry. I thought you were gonna be happy tonight. Never assume that. What's the point of it all anyway? The point is, that's life, and life has no point. You work hard, you get ahead, you start a family, and the kids don't appreciate you. Next thing you know, you're old, no one comes around anymore, and you're staring at the wall. And one day, the neighbors notice a funny smell, and that's when they figure out the cat's eating your face. So go to school! Oh, so help me God. If I started building walls today, and didn't stop for the next ten years, there still wouldn't be enough of them to f*** my jokes out! If you don't get her a doctor right now, but for all these other low-life pieces of then I will follow you to whatever home for dried up old hags you live in, oh slap God. the cat food out of your mouth, grab you by your camel hump, and put you through that fucking wall! I'm putting you in charge of your sister today. You got that? Yep. Okay, if anything mm -hmm. bad happens to her, I want you to call me at work. Okay, buddy? Sure, Dad. Good. Because then I will come right home, and I will put you through that fucking wall. Have a great day, princess. Oh, wow. Dad, oh is this you and Mom? You almost look happy. That's because you weren't born yet. <laughs> I sure ruined your life. Yes, you did. Um, this whole thing was so funny and so enjoyable. I definitely hope that I can do future reactions to F is for Family. I find Bilber so funny. And I'll just call him a character slash his father. 
um, Frank Murphy. So, so funny. I love the excessiveness of his role and I just really enjoyed this compilation. I hope you guys did too, so make sure you like and subscribe if you did and check out my Patreon and I will see you all next time. Bye -bye, baby.